Hey guys, uh, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Today we are going to be talking about uh, Venus flytrap flower stalk cuttings and really getting into um, whether or not you should cut Venus flytrap flower stalks. Uh, seems to be one of the most common questions uh, that I see with new growers and I wanted to give some information in regards to whether or not uh, you should cut the flower stalk. So uh, I'm going to be starting kind of a new series here guys where on top of the videos where I'm sharing a lot of my uh, my, my plants, um, growing updates, that kind of stuff, uh, I want to start kind of a, a beginner's answering questions video series, uh, just answering some common questions that I see from the community, um, just to help new growers out, uh, and just kind of, you know, make sure that some of these questions are answered for people, and uh, some of these questions are super common, and I see them a ton, and they get answered a ton, it would be nice for there to be a resource. Um, a playlist of just kind of um, beginner questions that are that are answered and, and given some information for. So today we're going to be talking all about uh, the Venus flytrap flower stalk cuttings. So um, real quick guys before we get into that I wanted to thank you for being here. Um, let you know how much I appreciate you uh, trying hard to start my own carnivorous plant nursery and you being here. Um, liking this video, subscribing to my channel, um, all that stuff is supporting me in that journey. So thank you so much. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Also, uh, any tips that you guys have with flower stalk cuttings, uh, throw them in the comments. Uh, we can discuss and talk about them because there's definitely some stuff that I may miss in this video today. So let's go ahead and uh, jump in and get started. So first of all, uh, the, what I really want to talk about to start this video off with is um, reasons why you would actually keep the flower stalk. So um, the first reason that you would keep the flower stalk more than likely uh, than anything is is that you want to get seeds. Um, that's probably the number one reason people keep flower stalks uh, is to see if they can obtain some um, Venus flytrap seeds to continue the growth of uh, this plant. Uh, one thing to note with seeds is that seeds are not a clone. So if you're growing a cultivar, uh, you may only get um, typical Venus flytraps. Uh, so it's really important to know that. It's important for people to understand that when they're talking about cloning versus growing from seed, growing from seeds will not necessarily clone the plant uh, that you have. So, um, but with seed growing, um, basically, um, that's one of the primary reasons you wanna let the Venus flytrap flower stalk grow. Um, your, your plant will flower, uh, like this one here. They do cross pollinate by themselves. You can help them with a paintbrush if that's something that you wanna do. Um, I'm actually gonna have a video on doing all of that here shortly. So make sure to subscribe to see that video uh, coming out here in the next month or so. But, um, it's really important to um, to note that when you grow Venus flytraps from from uh, seeds, it's a really really long process. Um, it takes a lot of patience. Uh, it can take three to four years for Venus flytraps to gain full maturity and to be the size of the ones that you see in the store or the ones that you buy online. Uh, so it's just kind of important to know that and understand that. One of the common misconceptions with uh, letting your flowers um, bloom on your Venus flytrap is that it'll actually kill your Venus flytrap. Um, and that's an, in most cases that's not going to happen. I'd say 95 to 99 percent um, growing a flower st a stalk is not going to kill your Venus flytrap. Really, what it's going to do is it's going to divert the energy um, from your Venus flytrap into pushing forward uh, reproduction. Right. So once you start to grow that that flower stalk, your plants basically shifted its focus from um, growing the traps down here. Um, and making bigger, larger traps, growing more traps into basically furthering um, the succession of the plant by, by putting all of its energy into reproduction. So now that the plant is completely focused on reproducing um, and generating seeds rather than kind of furthering the growth of the existing plant. So that's one of the reasons why um, people often get confused and say, hey, you need to, you know, your plant's going to die if you don't cut your flower stalk. That's definitely not true. Is your plant going to slow down a little bit? Is it going to produce less pitch or less uh, fly trap heads? Uh, yeah, definitely. Your, the growth of your plant will definitely slow down. So um, if you're okay with your plant slowing down and you want to get seeds, uh, then absolutely let it flower. Now, um, if you just want to see these flowers, um, these little pretty white flowers, that's okay too. Uh, if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of the size of your, um, your fly trap heads, uh, and you're also willing to sacrifice some of the vigorous growth that you may see, um, that's perfectly fine if that's what you want If that's what you want in your plant. So uh, just make sure that you understand that growing the flower stalks um, and getting and generating the seeds will definitely slow down the growth of your flytrap heads. They'll be smaller and there will be less of them. Um, so 
it really comes down to what you want. Do you want seeds? Do you want to see the flowers grow? And if you're willing to sacrifice some growth in your plant itself, then absolutely, by all means, then you should definitely allow your flower stalks to grow. Now, let's go ahead and talk about uh, reasons why you would actually cut the flower stalks. Um, one of the main reasons to cut the flower stalk, I think is probably obvious from what we've already talked about, um, but it's if your plant is uh, either not in very good health, uh, if you have a plant that's that's really struggling, um, you're getting a lot of black pictures, you're seeing really weak growth, um, the coloration is really off, those kind of things, uh, and you see a flower stalk start to pop up, that could be a bad sign because what your plant might be doing is saying, hey, it uh, feels like we're about to die, we need to focus on popping up these flowers so that we can produce some seeds and carry on um, the life of this plant rather than worrying about the existence of the current plant. So if that's the case, you guys, and you have a, uh, a Venus flytrap that's really weak, that's really sickly looking, or maybe you've just recently repotted it uh, and all of the, the traps are sagging and it's just not looking like it's in really good shape, I would cut that flower stalk the second that I saw it pop up. The second that you recognize and identify that you have a flower stalk, cut that thing off because it will really help your plant focus all of its energy on, on recouping from whatever it is it's trying to recoup from. Um, the other reason that a lot of people cut the flower stalks, and this is something that I personally do a lot of, is uh, Venus flytrap flower stalk propagation. So you can actually take your flower stalks, you can cut them off, and you can actually put them in either like a sphagnum moss mix or a peat moss mix down here um, and you can actually grow cloned venus fly traps um, from the flower stalks so that's a little bit different from the seeds right the 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 flower stalk will actually be a clone so if you're growing a cultivar um, you'll get a cloned cultivar rather than a, a typical venus fly trap like you would from a seed so um, that's a kind of a really fun thing to do after about six months i actually have one here to show you real quick let me grab it so this is a Venus flytrap flower stalk propagation I have going on here, and this is about six months in. So you can see the size of the plants are pretty tiny. Let me put my finger in there just for reference. So you can see about how big that 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 plant is right there. It's pretty pretty tiny. It's about the head of a, a pit. Uh, it's about the size of a flytrap head uh, on a larger Venus flytrap. But you can see that some of these are really really tiny. See the tip of my finger right there. Um, pretty small after and this is after six months of growing um, you can see the the those are all the flower stalks there the brown um, but I do have a video in the um, the description you guys there's a link there you can click to see how I did this um, I, I talk a lot more specifically about this process I'm not going to get into it too much here I just kind of wanted to show you kind of what results can look like after about six months um, and just that you need to know that it's a little bit of a process and that you do have to have kind of a lot of patience in order for you to grow uh, Venus flytraps from flower stalks. But that's usually the main reason that I cut the flower stalks. Um, now with that being said, for propagation purposes, um, I don't cut the flower stalks right away. I'll actually wait until they're about, they're about this big here. Um, you can see there's a little bit of that white showing from the flower. And I've got a flower stalk here that's probably about, oh I don't know, this is probably about seven, eight inches big. Um, sometimes they get a little bit bigger than that um, but this one is still really healthy and it's before the flower has actually bloomed so I can actually cut this off and then cut this one into one inch pieces put these in an area with the like peat moss or sphagnum moss that's really humid and these will start to hit after 30 to 60 days um, with with growing up from the flower stalk so so there's kind of different if you're cutting for propagation you do want to let them get a little bit bigger um, just because you'll get a lot more opportunities because the flower stalk will be much bigger. Um, if you're growing them strictly for the health of your plant, the second that you see uh, flower stalks start to pop off, cut it off, um, whether it's a half inch or an inch. And even in that case, guys, if you cut it off at a half inch or an inch, you can actually still probably try to propagate those. Your, your chances of, of success will be a little bit lower. Um, but you can still certainly do that if, if you wish, um, even if it's just a half inch piece or a one inch piece. Uh, you might as well throw it in some peat moss or some sphagnum moss and see if you can get a hit on it even when it's smaller. But So I think those are probably the two main reasons that you would cut the flower stalk, um, the healthier plant. Um, also just generally, guys, if, you're, if your main focus on your plants is you want really big fly traps um, or you want really vigorous growth, you want a lot of fly traps, cut off the flower stalk. Um, it's only gonna help your plant grow bigger and faster. Um, if you're not really all that concerned about the, the size and the amount of, of fly traps that you have, then go ahead and let your flower grow out. 
Um, so really what this comes down to guys is that it's up to you. Uh, and it really just kind of comes down to what you want from your plant. Um, personally, uh, with this one here, I'm actually trying to get seeds. Uh, so I'm hoping that some of these guys here produce me some seeds. So that's the only reason I'm really letting these ones grow. Um, the majority of the time I will cut these off just to allow for my actual, because I prefer to have bigger fly traps um, and more fly traps rather than the flowers. The flowers aren't nearly as important to me. So I'm usually cutting these guys off to help support the growth of my, my fly trap. Um, so let's talk about real quick the when and how. Um, when should you cut off your, your flower stalks? Um, and we kind of just went over that. So really just as soon as you see them, um, and then obviously it kind of depends on if you're propagating or if you're just cutting for the healthier plant. So if you're propagating, let them get a little bit bigger. For the healthier plant, cut them the second that you see them. Um, another kind of uh, way to answer the wind side of it is, is what time, what time of the year should you focus on cutting them? Um, if it's springtime, uh, that's kind of when they should be flowering. That's when it's perfectly fine to let them flower, produce seeds. That's the healthiest time. If you're looking more uh, late summer, early fall, um, late fall, early winter, anywhere in that time period, I would recommend cutting them off immediately. Even if you want to get seeds, uh, there's a really good chance that with, as the light goes down, um, as the temperatures go down, that, this, that the plant won't even be able to produce seeds. Uh, so you might not really get anything out of it anyway. So you're going to suck the life out of your plant and you're not going to get any seeds. So if it's fall time, early winter, um, or even really late summer, and you see a flower start, a stalk start to pop up, I would strongly suggest just cutting that thing off. Um, your plant's about to go into dormancy and dormancy is pretty rough. Um, kind of depending on where you live obviously but in most cases your plants trying to store energy and the flower stalk is really just pulling that energy away as your plants going into a dormancy period where it's trying its hardest to store energy um, so the flower stalk is kind of contradictory to what your plants trying to do um, if your plants focus is to store energy letting the flower stalk grow is really really counterproductive to to what your plant needs so I think that covers just about everything um, for your flower stalks guys really what it comes down to it um, cutting your flower stalk is entirely up to you um, what do you want out of your plant do you want vigorous growth do you want bigger um, fly traps then cut your flower stalks uh, do you want to propagate let them grow a little bit then cut them uh, do you want seeds obviously if you want seeds you're gonna have to let these guys grow um, and then you're gonna have to uh, collect the seeds and then uh, plant the seeds so it just really depends on what you guys want um, overall when it really comes down to it cutting the flower stalks really does help the growth of the fly traps themselves um, so if your focus is all on the fly traps cut off the flower stalks um, but guys definitely check out the uh, some links in the description so you can see my flower stock propagation um, so you can see how to do that if that's something that interests you um, Make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, for more uh, great information on how to take care of your Venus flytraps or other carnivorous plants. Uh, I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.